Let's get to it. What's up, everyone? I want to take a few minutes. Let us hear what Kobe Bryant had to say shortly before he died regarding. And I'd say lesson two would be just five minutes of quiet time, five minutes for you to be mindful and to just sit and, uh, and, and find that inner voice and, uh, and, and just kind of listen to the self. And uh, preferably would be in the morning as you start your day. And then we'll go ahead and close it off if you're brave enough to stick around with everyone's favorite topic, death. The school senior is in the hospital after collapsing on the tennis courts. Breaking new details on the deaths of a high school soccer player. Finland, Denmark star man Christian Eriksson collapsing towards the end of the first half. The Kennedy High community mourning tonight after one of their high school football players died. A South Carolina high school football player has died after collapsing at football practice. Star college basketball player collapsing on the court. We want to warn you, the video may be difficult to watch. Florida Gators star Keontae Johnson and collapsing during the game. A West Catholic high school student has died after collapsing during a football scrimmage. On mile eight, she suddenly felt fuzzy and blacked out. 17-year-old Ryan Jacobs' heart stopped. Unexpectedly collapsed on the field. Megan went into cardiac arrest. Collapsing during Friday night's football game. Now quickly, for the basketball lovers, pretty much all of you know who Kobe Bryant was, but... For the non-basketball fans, in short, he was a very famous basketball player who died with several others back in January 2020, I believe, in a sad and tragic helicopter crash. Now, it was very interesting to see this video that he made before he died, and I just want you to replace or make a word adjustment from the word meditation to the word prayer, vicar. I meditate every day. I meditate every day and um, I do it in the mornings and uh, I do it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, I, I think it's important because it just, it, it, it sets me up for the rest of the day. You know, it helps me, it's like, it's like, it's like having an anchor. You know, it's, it's um, if I don't do it, I feel like I'm constantly chasing the day. As is a very sad reality to see much of our young youth falling into this trap where they end up going to the secular atheist universities. They listen to some of the, sorry to say, goofball professors who they hold in high esteem and respect, who argue against God, a creator, prayer, even to the point of making fun and jokes of the whole concept, while the professors are giving them dawa towards what? Nihilism, the rejection of religious and moral principles, in the belief that life is meaningless. So they take them from living a purposeful life to ultimately a meaningless life. Because after you get through all the partying, drinking, zina, fortication, the running around life, chasing your tail or your desires, filling your belly, feeding your ego, life becomes really just meaningless. Because you're not living for an ultimate higher goal and purpose, like for your creator in the hereafter. So as I often repeat, look, our measuring stick is not science or famous celebrities, the Quran and authentic Sunnah. But if you have someone like a Kobe Bryant, who had a really big influence over many people, and he's sharing with you something that was very critical for his life and now and how he started his days. And things that may be lying beneath the surface that if you don't have that time to sit quietly on your own, you'll never pay attention to. You know, because if you think about it, like, you know, the reality is we're paying attention to so many things that are going on around us. We're constantly taking selfies. We're constantly taking pictures to post on Instagram and all these other things. And we're constantly observing everything that's around us. But we don't take the time to really observe what's going on inside of ourselves. So much so that even the most renowned basketball coach, Phil Jackson, had the whole team doing it. In 2000, we had a new head coach that came to the Los Angeles Lakers by the name of Phil Jackson. And Phil was just coming off of winning six championships with the Bulls. And he was really big on mindfulness and really big on meditation. And it wasn't an option for us. Now, I want you to imagine if this was applied not to just one aspect in life, basketball, but for our whole existence called life. And it revolved around praying to the only one. قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. Now even though we don't pray because science says prayer is good 
or because there are new studies that now show people who pray are healthier, happier than those who don't. But it's nice to read these new developments. I want to share with you, and you can share with others, encouraging them to pray, to make salah, zikr, and dua. And this is the real ultimate, if you want to if you want to call it that meditation, or a time to reflect over your existence, how you came into being, why you're here, and where you're going when you ultimately die, just like Kobe Bryant died. Okay, let's get into this article, and we'll start finishing up from there, inshallah. So this is a very interesting article. It's titled, Why People Who Pray Are Healthier Than Those Who Don't. And if you want to achieve maximum health, there are a few things that you should do. It, it starts off to say exercise regularly, eat nutritious and minimally processed food. Like I often say, eat real food, avoid fake food and drop those extra pounds. And it finishes off to say pray. And I, I would just add, we would add pray salah. Then it goes on to say, that's right. Regular prayer. And we would say salah. And meditation has been shown in numerous scientific studies to be an important factor in living longer and staying healthy. Prayer is the most widespread alternative therapy in America today. Over 85% of people con confronting a major illness pray. Prayer is the most widespread alternative therapy in America today. Over 85% of people confronting a major illness pray. According to a University of Rochester study, there is a far higher, that is far higher than taking herbs or pursuing other non-traditional healing methods. And increasingly, the evidence is that prayer works. So this article is saying that the studies show that prayer actually works. And this is something that your professor will have you not believe. And this is something that the professor hides behind his belief in scientism. That's his religion. But we're, we're that's why we're sharing with you some actual science here for prayer. It goes on to say the relationship between prayer and health has been the subject of scores of double-blind studies over the past four decades. Dr. Herbert Benson, a cardiovascular specialist at the Harvard Medical School and a pioneer in the field of mind-body medicine, discovered what he calls the relaxation response, which occurs during periods of prayer and meditation. At some times, the body's metabolism decreases, the heart rate slows, blood pressure goes down, and our breath becomes calmer and more regular. Going towards the end of the article, it finishes off with saying, in one National Institutes of Health funded study, individuals who pray daily, and this is just a note, us as Muslims, we pray five times a day minimum, who pray daily were shown to be 40% less likely to have blood pressure, high blood pressure than those without a regular prayer practice. Research at Dartmouth Medical School found that patients with strong religious beliefs who underwent elective heart surgery were three times more likely to recover than those who were less religious. A 2011 study of the inner city youth with asthma by researchers at the University of Cincinnati indicates that those who practice prayer meditation experienced fewer and less severe symptoms than those who had not. Other studies show that prayer boosts the immune system and helps to lessen the severity and frequency of a wide range of illnesses. A recent study in the Journal of Gerontology of 4,000 senior citizens in Durham found that people who prayed or meditated coped better with illness and lived longer than those who did not. And this is a longer article, but just going down to the end, it says what science can tell us is that people who pray and meditate trend to be statistically more healthy and live longer than those who do not. Whether these boons are merely unintended side effects of still deeper spiritual benefits remains a matter of faith. So when you read all of these benefits, I mean, obviously we don't do it because science says it's good. Can religion and spirituality be measured scientifically? Intensive research on the brain says the answer is yes. And now these developments are coming to the forefront. 
I mean, we base it on proof and evidence that the Quran is indeed from the creator of the heavens and earth. And over and over, it's talking about establishing a direct connection with the creator of the heavens and the earth. And that, that's not because God Almighty Allah needs it. It's because we need it. Just like Kobe Bryant, he needed this anchoring himself, he called it, to go ahead and start his day. Just like the Phil Jackson, you know, this world-renowned coach, he gets his team to go ahead and meditate, to go ahead and focus. We need to focus on what? Our purpose in life, our creator, so it can make us more morally upright, so we can be better human beings, so we can make the world we live in a better place for all of humanity. So I'm going to make this really simple and easy. When you're praying, what you don't do is you don't give one third to a human being, to an angel, to a saint, to Jesus. You don't give one third to Mary. You don't give one third to anyone else. All 100% of your prayer goes towards God Almighty, the Creator, Allah. This is very important. No one in the middle between you and your Creator. You only call upon the one, the one who created you. And before you start asking for, this is very important now, before you start asking for good health, good husband or wife, good car, good job, good food, etc. We people ask for, we ask for everything other than the most important thing. You got to start asking for the guidance. You got to start asking for the guidance. The one who created me, guide me, guide me, guide me, guide me to what my purpose is. Guide me from what you want for me. You might be confused and you see all these different religions and 99% of them are man-made religions. And you want to go towards the way of light that's from your creator? Ask the creator of the heavens and earth to make it clear. And here is an ultimate prayer that you can start doing today. الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا But not the least, my brothers and sisters in Dean and humanity, the back to what should really motivate us, and that's the matter that we should really take serious death. Have any signs no. before this race? Absolutely not. She felt like she's in the best shape of her life. That's incredible. Goodness, he's going down there, Erickson. That's worrying. He collapsed. He collapsed. Well, this is really disturbing. Something happened to one of the referees. This does look serious. And we see how, again, going back to how we started with Kobe Bryant. He did not think that that helicopter was going to crash. And you think you're healthy, you, you're young, I got time, I'll do hajj, I'll start praying, I'll start fasting, I'll start living Islam, submission to the creator, not the creation. I'll start living it when I get older. If you're thinking this type of way, believe me, believe you me, shaitan is pimping you, he is deceiving you. Do you think all these young, strong, best trained athletes thought deaf or whatever condition reached them would just look these were some of the best trained the most paid these were people who had the best coaches the best training regimen uh phys physical fitness optimal and they did not expect to be playing soccer to be playing a sport whatever the case and how about all of these are just the people that we see what about all those people who are not as important where the media doesn't catch this, that are just dying daily, that you won't hear about on the news, and their stories won't be told. How many of those people, and that can be you tomorrow, today. So it's very important that we take this matter serious. And the prayer to the one and only created the heavens and earth, the same God that Jesus worshipped, Moses, Abraham, the last and final messenger, prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This is the start. This is your connection to your creator through the prayer. No prayer, it's life like 
God Almighty is describing in the Quran, it's like the difference between the living and the dead. So you got to awaken your heart and your soul and give your soul, give your heart what it needs. It needs that fuel. And that fuel can only come through the prayer. And that's it. That's it for now, brothers and sisters. That's it for now. Now, to get your free copy of the Quran, visit thedeanshow.com. If you like more evidence, if you're new to the channel, if you're new and you're to learning about Islam and you want more evidence and proof, you want to know, look, you like what we have to say, the pure monotheism that Islam is about. And you want to learn more to know without a shadow of doubt that the, that the Quran is indeed the verbatim word of God Almighty. And it's not just based on hearsay. Go ahead and call us, 1-800-662-4752. And keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your dua. dua subscribe. Uh, go ahead. And quick note, if you knew just by hitting the like button, with the proper intention of helping this video to grow so it can be a source of goodness and guidance for someone out there, and just by doing this simple act of clicking the like button, you'll get rewarded. You do it right now, wouldn't you? So go ahead and hit that like button so we can go ahead and get this video out. You can develop some more traction. It could be a source of guidance and goodness for humanity and the world. And subscribe and support us on our Patreon page. We'll see you next time. Until then, and, and share. Share your, your thoughts and your comments uh, below. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.